What is going on guys? I am back with part 5 for this tutorial on how to build this large suburban house. It is this video we are going to be starting the interior. So we are going to do the interior layout for the first floor of the house and we might also do some of the layout for the second floor. Alright, so I went ahead and gathered up some of the blocks we are going to be using. These are going to be used for like the floors, the walls, the ceilings, and the doorways. So go ahead and grab some dark oak planks, pillar quartz blocks, chiseled quartz blocks, light gray concrete, stone buttons, cyan concrete, white concrete, quartz stairs, and I would recommend a potion of night vision. So let's go ahead and start with our dark oak planks and these are going to be used for the floors for the living room. So I am going to change out the layout for the like basically the entire house from the original build just because the layout for the original build really wasn't the best. So uh, I have improved since I originally did this tutorial so we're going to change it up a little bit. So I'm looking at the front door right now and we'll go ahead and place... Let's see, because uh, I want the kitchen and dining room over here, the uh, living room here, a bathroom there, which th that part is going to be the same, and then the garages is over th are over there. But with the original design, I had a wall straight across here, which divided the living room and the kitchen. Really didn't look that well. So I say we could bring the floors, the wood floors over right here, just one block further than the edge of the doorway, like lined up with this wall. We'll bring it straight across to the back. And now we'll push this all up until we meet up with that wall over there. So we'll bring it straight across and meet up with the corner here. That just bring it straight across. So these floors are actually going to be for our bathrooms. We'll just, you know what, we'll go ahead and fill it in. Switch to your chiseled quartz blocks, fill all of this in. And like I said, this will be the bathroom for the first floor. Okay, so we have that done. Let's switch back to our dark oak planks. We're going to continue filling in this big square here. Alright, I got this section for the living room all filled in. There we go, so bathroom, living room. Now I'm going to switch to my pillar quartz blocks. We'll go up against the wood and we'll just place a pillar quartz facing this direction on every other block. So we're just going to skip over one. And we'll leave that empty. Now let's turn them to the side and fill in the remaining spaces. So we're just going to go back and forth in a crisscross pattern. Now let's look in this direction, go where all of the ones that are sideways are, and just place the other ones in the opposite direction. And now for all of the empty space, turn sideways and just uh, have them sideways like this. So I'm going to keep going back and forth until we have it all filled in with the crisscross pattern. And we'll bring it up until... We're gonna have like a step down into here. So I would say we could bring it right along the edge of this wall. So I'll go ahead, I'll have this one just back and forth so I could show you exactly how far we're gonna bring it. You know what, I'll go ahead and fill all of this in and then like I said, we'll just bring it out right to here. So I'll show you what it should look like after I have it filled in. All right, I'm filling in this space right up against the wall. And remember, like I said, we'll go ahead and bring it over just one extra one so that we're lined up at the corner of this wall. So we're gonna fill it in with one more strip. Oh, whoops, hang on. There we go, is everything good? Make sure nothing is messed up. Looks all good to me. So just a crisscross pattern like that hopefully you guys could see it all right so now 
Let's just, you know what, let's go ahead and start laying out all of the walls. But first, let's do our doorways. So you can continue with your pillar quartz block. We'll go to the front door here. We'll place one, two, three, four on each side going up right along the edge of the doorway. Then we'll have a corner block, which is like the inside of the uh, quartz. And then we'll have sideways blocks going straight across. Cover up the corners with some stone buttons. A four block wide doorway, geez. That looks really big. <laughs> All right, let's go to the back door and we're going to do the same thing here. Corner block, sideways blocks, stone buttons. All right. Now for the main walls, I'm going to just continue with the light gray and we'll see, we'll go to the left side of the front door here. We'll bring it straight across. And now we'll stop it here and we'll bring it straight across here. So this is going to be the wall which divides the garage and the kitchen. We'll have a doorway right here, but for now, let's just have a solid wall. Now I'm at the back wall. We'll continue wrapping it around, met up with, with uh, that pillar quartz. So we just added a layer of light gray. Let's go to the other side of this doorway. We're gonna do the same thing. So bring it straight across along this wall. And now turn, bring this straight across. And once again, we're going to have a doorway leading into the bathroom here, but for now, we'll completely fill it all in. Let me use my potion. Now let's fill this wall in. So now for the most part, we have the layout for the first floor. So this is gonna be the kitchen and dining room. This is going to be the living room. We're gonna have a staircase going up right here to the uh, second floor. Or we could change that up. We could have a staircase maybe right in the middle. I don't know, maybe we could just leave it the same with the staircase like over there like I originally had it. But because we have this big window here, maybe we could open up the entrance. I don't know. We'll go ahead and just do it where the staircase originally was. Okay, now I'm going to switch to my chiseled quartz and I'm going to add a layer on top of the light gray concrete that we just placed but we're gonna skip all of those windows. So make sure to just skip all those. Don't cover them up like this. So I'm gonna go around, add one layer. All right, there we go. Now let's add or switch back to the light gray concrete. And we'll bring it up one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we'll have the floors here. So the ceilings will be here. So we basically need to only bring it up. We'll bring it up six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll make it easier to do these ceilings. So six extra layers on top of the chiseled quartz with the light gray concrete. Make sure to get the space right above the windows. So I'm gonna go all the way around and completely fill this in. Then we'll go ahead and start cutting out the doorways for the bathroom and the garage. We'll fill in the floors for the garage and the walls. Then we'll fill in the walls for the uh, bathroom. Uh, then maybe we could do the ceilings and start bringing up the staircase for the second floor because that is basically all there is for the first floor layout since we're not gonna be doing it like the original build we're just gonna leave it all open it's gonna be like an open floor plan basically all right so like i said i'm just gonna go around and finish filling in the rest of this light gray concrete and i'll see you guys when i have it done and i'll show you what it should be looking like all right i went all the way around for this section of the house so if you look here, we just have three layers above the windows. We added a total of six on top of the chiseled quartz. So just around in this section. Okay, now let's start marking out the... You know what? We'll do the walls in here. So we have the bathroom. I'll switch to my cyan concrete. And we'll just add one layer all the way around the edge. All right, let me use my potion just in case. And now let's cut out a doorway right here. 
so we'll just make it one block wide so we're looking at this wall we have one block of space here we'll cut out three spaces we have to cut out the light gray as well and we'll bring it up a total of four layers in height okay let's switch to our pillar quartz block we'll go on this side and we'll place three going up on the fourth block is going to be that corner block all right as you can see let's have our sideways block and now we have to go on the inside where the bathroom is and we have to double up the doorway since we have another layer of walls on here so the doorway is going to be two blocks thick all right now let's just go ahead and add our stone buttons on the corners let's go back in with our cyan concrete we'll bring it up one two three four five six seven so it is eight blocks in height so it's just like the same height as these other walls that we just placed these are actually some really tall walls like really tall rooms in this house uh, but it should be fine i normally don't have my walls or like rooms this tall i would have it maybe like right here you know what? actually i would Oh, it's because the windows, I would normally have three blocks in height. And in this case, they're four. So that explains it. But let me just conf uh, finish completely filling in these walls here for the bathroom. Okay, I have the bathroom walls filled in. So there we go. This is probably my favorite color to use for the bathrooms. A nice vibrant blue always looks good. All right. So yeah, we do have a lot of windows in this bathroom. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sacrifice this window here. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm going to delete this window just so that we could have the bathtub maybe right here and we don't want a window where the bathtub is so i'm going to delete this window once again don't have to do this but i am going to and i'm just going to completely fill this in with a solid layer of light gray concrete it is just like the back side of the house so it's no big deal and then we'll completely fill the rest of this in with cyan concrete for now we'll change it up with some quartz on the wall to act as tile when we do the bathtub but we'll leave it like that for now if we go on the exterior that is just like a solid wall of light gray still looks good and then if you look at the front side of the house we still have that window so it still looks good that's just the back part nobody's really paid attention to that either way once again don't have to do it if you don't want to but just so we could actually have the bathtub here without having a window next to it Okay, we have that done. We still have to do the ceilings, but for now, we'll leave it. And now, let's head on to the garage. And let's see where we could have the doorway. So we want to possibly just line it up with that window there. So we'll leave one, two, three, four spaces here. Then we'll cut out four. And we'll bring it up another three layers in height. So now it is lined up with that window there. And you can switch to your pillar quartz blocks. And we'll have one, two, three on each side. The fourth block is going to be the corner. And now we have to double up this doorway. So we have it like this. Let's go on this side and double it up. Now let's cover up the corners with stone buttons. Okay. So for this uh, layer of quartz, I guess we really didn't need it because we could just delete this and possibly just have some quartz slabs. So I'll grab quartz slabs or you could just use the stairs, but I would rather use slabs and we'll put them right there. And now let me grab the stairs again because the stairs are going to be used for the crown molding for the ceiling. Okay, now, yeah, we actually could just delete all of this uh, quartz there. And then this doorway, we have to straighten out these bottom blocks. Alright, so yeah, we actually didn't need that extra layer of quartz, my bad. But now we can switch to our white concrete, and we're going to start filling in the walls for the garage. 
So we'll fill in three spaces on each side of the doorway. Then we'll fill in the two spaces here next to the door, these two spaces, and these two spaces. We'll continue just wrapping it around. All right. Now for the windows here, I always like to add some quartz stairs down here at the bottom since the windows are two blocks off the ground, not just one. Like in here, we just have one layer. In here, we would have two, but just to kind of make it look like there's not actually two, I like to add, have some quartz stairs there down below. Okay, now let's switch back to the white concrete. We'll just bring it up to the same layer because let's see, I do want to use this space. I didn't use this space at the original build, so we're going to use this space for possibly like a bedroom or something. So we'll bring up the white concrete for the walls in here to the same height as these light gray concrete walls for the rest of the house. So that'll be fine. Then we'll have the ceilings here, then the floors. So yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are nine blocks in total. Really tall, but it'll be fine. So I'm going to completely fill all of this in, make sure to go around the doorways and around all of the windows. Alright, I just about got the walls filled in for the garage. Okay, there we go. Let me look at this. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. So I got it all filled in, and then we added these stairs here. It makes it look a little bit better. All right, don't have to have them if you don't want them, but I think it looks good. Um, for the floors here, let's just, oh, whoops, potion. Let's just delete the layer of dirt here. We won't completely, or we won't uh, fill it in quite just yet, because we're going to have all of the uh, exterior blocks that we use for the texture for like the driveway and stuff in here. But I don't have those blocks on me right now, so let's just not worry about it. But we'll go ahead and cut it out, just so we have this out of the way. Okay, just about got it. And now, let's see, we could do... Here, let's do the ceilings for the bathroom, so you can switch to your white concrete. Go on the final layer that we added our walls and just add a layer of white concrete. And now you can switch to your quartz stairs and place them upside down along the top edge to act as crown molding. Okay, there we go. Looks good. Now in here... We'll just completely fill all of this in with a layer of white concrete. We are going to have a staircase going up here for the second floor. But just to get it out of the way, let's just completely fill it in and we'll cut out the hole that we need to for the staircase here. So I'm going to go at the top layer of the light gray concrete for the walls. I'm going to completely fill all of this in. And then we'll add our layer of crown molding with the quartz stairs. Uh, I'm going to... Here, let me use my potion of night vision. I'll put it in here for now, and then I'm going to grab a potion of swiftness, so I could completely fill this all in as fast as possible. Alright, I just about got the ceilings filled in for the main section of the house. And there we go. Now let's switch to our quartz stairs, wrap it around the top edge for crown molding. Okay, doing the last side. And there we go. Now we have that all done. So once again, living room here, kitchen and dining room, garages over there, and then a bathroom. Staircase will probably go up right here. All right. Yeah, I think this will be better to have it all open instead of uh, having a wall right here dividing it. There's no reason to have a wall here to divide it. So yeah, it would be like an open floor plan. Okay. I'm trying to think if we could possibly have maybe like a bedroom here or something. Ah, uh, no, I think it'll be fine. Alright, let's go to the 
garage. We'll switch to the white concrete, go at the top edge in here. Just add a layer for the ceilings. We're not going to have any crown molding in here because normally you wouldn't have crown molding in your garage in real life. So we're not going to worry about it. And then uh, let's go ahead and do the floors for the uh, garage here as well. Okay, so we have that filled in. And I'll just clear my inventory for now let me grab my potion of night vision use that and now i'm going to grab all of the blocks that we used on the outside here so it'll be diorite gravel cobblestone and andesite i'm gonna head back in here we'll just start out by filling it all in with diorite and then if you remember what we did in the other video, which was the last video when we did the landscaping, we just add a solid layer of diorite. Then we go back, cut out a bunch of random holes, add all of the rest of the blocks to add more texture, and then we have it done. I'll probably just go ahead and... I think I just said go ahead a lot of times, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, let me just show you how to do this. Might as well just show you, no need to skip over it. Cut out a bunch of random holes. Now, I think that'll be pretty good. Alright, now let's switch to maybe like the gravel. Kind of fill all of this in. Try to even them all out. Okay, now after we do this gravel... We'll switch to like the cobblestone and fill in more of this space. And then for the remaining holes, we'll fill in with andesite. All right, I would say maybe switch that out a little bit. Fill the rest of this in with andesite and it should be good. We'll see what it looks like. Make sure it's all evened out pretty well. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, now there is one last thing I want to do for the garage. We could switch, or just like grab this white concrete or whatever, grab your white concrete. And in between the garage doors here, we'll bring up a pillar. We'll go on this side, we'll line it up. Have another pillar going up to the ceiling here. Now let's have kind of like a uh, beam going straight across. We'll add two blocks of white concrete on each side in the corner. And you could either leave it like that or you could bring it down to here, to here, to here, and to here. To make a big arch to kind of uh, add a little bit more to the garage. Alright, I think that looks good. Now we have like basically the layout for the first floor of the house done. We won't worry about the lights until we start doing the interior furnishings. I normally leave that when we do the furnishings. So no lights yet, we'll just stick with our potion. I'm gonna clear my inventory again, and let me just make sure to get the potion. And I'll put it right here. And now let's start bringing up the staircase, which is going to lead to the second floor. After we do the staircase, we can maybe do the layer of uh, floors for the second floor, and then we'll leave it at that for part five. Then in part six, we'll finish the interior layout, then part 7 and 8 will be all of the furnishings, and then we'll have a tour video. So, let's do the staircase, and that'll basically be about it for this video. So, for the staircase, I grabbed quartz stairs, quartz slabs, blocks of quartz, and dark oak wood stairs. Alright, so for the crown molding, we're gonna have to change that up a little bit to kind of wrap around the opening for the staircase, which I kind of forgot about. But we have the bathroom door here. We'll maybe be on one, two, three. We'll be on the third block here and we'll place two dark oak wood stairs. Now we'll go up another layer, place another two, just keep going up and placing two. We're gonna be like uh, covering up this window here, but it's all good. And we have to go up one more. So I'll count how many we actually just went up. So we did one, two, three, four, five six layers let's delete some of these quartz stairs 
we'll skip it over we have one two three four and we'll delete another one here so it's five and then here we deleted one two three four five six seven four now we might have to make changes later now let's delete starting here one two three four five and then we'll delete all of this space here okay oh yeah now let's actually grab some blocks of dark oak planks as well full blocks and you could place four here now we're going to turn to the right switch back to the stairs go up one two and then three and there we go so we went up one two three four five six in this direction placed four turned to the right and went up three okay now let's actually start doing the detail for the staircase and then we'll see how far we have to bring the uh crown molding and stuff in the opening so switch to your full blocks of quartz we'll place one right along the side of the stairs like that and now we're going to stack one on here so we're just following along the sides of the stairs still so there's actually two here that's okay all right there we go and now let's switch to our quartz stairs we'll place them upside down on top of those full blocks we'll turn these one here one here and then we're going to place one more on top of that last block like that okay now let's go underneath the staircase we'll have some more upside down court stairs to cover up all of that wood then here we'll have four blocks of court slabs and we'll continue with the upside down court stairs till we have all of that wood filled in now you can switch to your quartz slabs, go right underneath, or like right along the side of the stairs, or right underneath these full blocks. Whoops, not there, but right underneath it, and fill in all of that space. Alright, that looks good. So now we could go up here, we have a little railing, we could turn and go up here. Okay, now... Let's see where, what we could do. So the floors are gonna be right here. So let's switch back to our court stairs. We'll go right along these court stairs, like this last one here. We'll place one, two, three, four. And then we'll turn to the right. One, two, three, four, whoops, four again. Now we'll go down and place them facing upward right underneath. okay and then we could maybe let's see trying to think because i'm trying to change it up a little bit because we're gonna have the crown molding like right here so with the crown molding remember we deleted those blocks we'll just follow it along here and just wrap it around right on the edge of that white concrete so we have that taken care of and now for this layer of white concrete we will I'm trying to think i don't know we could have maybe some full blocks of quartz right here and then underneath we could delete these let me use my potion and have some full blocks here and then we could switch back to the quartz stairs and have them upside down right along the edge of the crown molding like that okay that works okay Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. If it was, feel free to like slow the video down or pause it. Do it step by step. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Obviously, you don't have to do it exactly like mine. You could just, literally, you could do it however you want. You guys don't have to do it exactly like me. Simply just have a staircase going up and leave it at that. Alright. And that should be enough space going up and down. We won't hit our head. So that all worked out and now up here let's see uh i was thinking about trying to use this space but it looks like it's not going to be big enough maybe we could have like a laundry room here or something or like a closet we probably won't be able to fit a bathroom here maybe we could have like a half bath we'll see 
Okay. So, let's actually... Yeah, we'll fill in... Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and do the walls. So, I'm gonna just clear everything. And let me just grab my potion again. Alright. And now we'll go ahead and start filling in some of the walls up here. Or... You know what? We'll leave it at that for this video. So that is going to be it for part 5. Okay guys, that's going to be it for part 5 for this tutorial on how to build this large suburban house. If this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 6. Later.